Okay, so now that we've finished uh, renaming and organizing all the structural elements in our model, uh, we want to run it through Catbot as a test run, just to make sure that all the geometry is being created successfully. And we can also look at the resulting model in robots, see some of the stresses and the results, and see if we want to adjust our model uh, before we actually run it through the automated experiment. And we can do that by uh, going to our workflow folder in our main directory. And like I said before, this is the main Catbot executable. And this batch will actually open up uh, Catbot uh, for a test run. So this basically, this batch file will do what Mode Frontier will do every time it runs an experiment once. So I'll put both a robot file that we can look at and a text file that will show us some of the uh, structural analysis results. So to do that, um, you want to have your model open in the CATIA window because with this batch file you won't specify a specific CATIA file it will just use whatever file is open so you want to have the file you want to test open and just double click on this batch file and it'll start its process so you can see here what it's doing uh, it'll start uh, get the active instance of CATIA it'll take all the points and lines and place that we put into the special categories write them to a list and then it will actually start uh, robot and robot won't open in the window but it'll be running in the background and basically once it's open robot initialized it it will take all the geometry it put uh, into a list and we'll use it to build a new model in robot from scratch using those geometry so you can see right now it's building the bars and then eventually it's going to build the plates, apply the wind loads, and then it's going to analyze uh, the model and save the robot file to disk. Then it's going to do a further series of analyses and write those to a text file and then exit. So you can see here the importance of organizing everything and putting it into the folders. Well, so Kappa will actually know what it's looking for, what to export out, and uh, recreate in robot. So here it's analyzing all the stresses and as soon as it's done it'll exit. So that's actually going to happen every time you run your experiment and you see even for a simple model like this it took a quite a long time. So if you multiply that by thousands of experiments it's going to substantially add to the time of your whole uh, experiment. So you want to keep that into account. So once that's done, that's done running uh, it'll output a robot file and a uh, text file into your main directory. So here's the robot file. Look at the text file first. This is basically um, all the numerical results of your test in a big spreadsheet format. It'll basically go through all of your nodes, all your lines, and all your plates and look at all the reactions, forces, displacements, uh, bending stresses, everything for each node. This is basically going to be a huge list of everything that's going on structurally in your model. And since we're running the experiments automatically, this is the text file that Mode Frontier is going to analyze to get its results, its outputs, uh, and its objectives. So to know how to optimize, it's going to pull data straight from this text file. But to be able to look at the results ourselves, we also generate a robot file if you click on it, it'll open in robot. And there's a series of things you can do to visualize what's going on structurally in your model within robot. I'll just show you a few kind of basic techniques. So you open it, you won't see much. You want to rotate the display. And here you start to see our model. So here it's pretty clear uh, what's going on. Um, you have your nodes, the free nodes are red small dots. The fixed nodes are represented by this bearing condition. All the the tube members are represented as these green lines and all the plates become these plates. You can see here where our live load plates, these were our shear panels for the core, these are our wind load plates. And all those are transferred here, nodes, bars, panels. So now we can do a series of things to analyze uh, this model. Uh, first, if you click on displacements, we can see the 
overall deformation of the model. And this is kind of an exaggerated view. It will basically take the node that's displacing the most and it'll put it at zero and it'll displace the rest of the mo model relative to that. So you can see the general behavior of your structure. We can also render it. And this is basically useful uh, so you can see the sizing of all the members and just, just kind of a visual check uh, whether they're kind of uh, realistic or appropriate for your model. Next thing we can do is apply some coloration to visualize the stress that's occurring both on the bars and on the surfaces. So maps on bars will allow you to visualize a series of things from force components to moments to shear stress on your bars. You click one of these and you hit apply. Now if you really uh, get into analyzing some of the structure, you're definitely going to want to consult with Ian or another engineer about what, which of these is relevant to your model and what these outputs will mean. But for now, we can just visualize some of these. And we can also do the same thing with the surfaces. If you go to results, maps, you'll be able to map on stresses, membrane forces, and things such as that onto the surfaces of the model. So you can see here applied to these surfaces. Okay, so you can use this to generate basic kind of structural analysis drawings of your models. We can close out of that. And next I will show you the basic mode frontier workflow as adjusted for use of CatBot.